Quick game of pool. Ready for 2,000 followers by Christmas. <laughs>
Uh, pipes in, on the eating. Uh, they're a bit hard getting. <laughs> but they're going in anyway. Put them two in for the windscreen. And then the other two on the other side going under the fuse box. I've still got to mount that proper. But they're in as well. So I've just got to get the big ones in now, which I won't be able to fit the big ones in. So I'm just going to use the same bore as the others. And then just pack it out a bit and put them on the inside so I'll get on with that. Just sussing out the wiper motor wiring and that's the defender plug and the uh, plug on the wiper motor on the transit is a long five pin one. So all the colours are the same but obviously as you would know they don't connect up to the same colour so I've sussed it anyway so just made a little uh, diagram there of how they should connect so I'll snip this plug off, solder them and each shrink them. We've got all them soldered up, each shrunk them. That's the intermittent one. I ain't got the wipers on yet. Oh, that's working. So first speed. And second speed, happy days. So, the gear selector cables have come, the ones which I think are going to work, third time lucky. <laughs> They're the rear wheel drive ones, the original ones, which were too short by about five and a half inches. Uh, these I got off a of custom, which had too much of a throw, which I could have sorted out, but they're a bit, well, they're probably about uh, seven inches too long, so I didn't like that. Um, Obviously the focus ones, I couldn't use them, as I discussed earlier on, I already had them anyway. So these ones are off a front wheel drive 5 speed TDCI Mark 7 Transit and I think they'll do, it's just the throw on one of them with the forward and back is a bit, a bit shorter, but I think it'll be alright that. Well, it's working, absolutely buzzing. Happy days, mate. They're a bit of a cheap cable, I only paid 25 quid for these ones, so I'll see how they get on. I might treat myself to some, well, genuine or OEM ones or something, but I'm glad that's working. Just had to put a zip tie on one of the brackets because it snapped a little bit on the top one there. It's just had a chunk off, but yeah, well, chuffed with that now. Happy days, mate. Got to tell you as well, I bought a big daft alley tank off eBay. What for that, innit? <laughs> Took a bit of damage on the corners there. Thanks, Hermes. Don't be proud there. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's all right. It's upside down at the minute, and I've got a, at the other end, I've got to chop some out. I'll go and show you now, actually. It works out about. 110 litres or something like that, so it's a bit bigger than the original one. But yeah, just up there, I've got to chop it out, just at the top there. Uh, <laughs> there's the filler, so I've got to weld that up as well. And then, uh, obviously, because the filler neck's there, I've just got to weld a filler neck on here, a bit of an elbow. And I've got to, I don't know, baffle it and put sender uni in it and stuff like that, so I've got a bit of work to do on it. Holy! So that, that's the hole I've just drilled and that's the chassis loom that. So that's going to go down underneath the vehicle right to the back of the vehicle for all the rear lights and the fuel pump and everything. So I've just dropped it down the back of the bulkhead and underneath the vehicle so... That's the other side of it there. in there. Yeah, inhale all the uh, aluminium filings and you can get Alzheimer's. Just a 
weld the plate on that because that is now the bottom <laughs> so I think I'll give it a trial fit now just uh, whip that mounting off just um, change the angle on that because I might be able to get a fixing point on the chassis leg which is at an angle cut that out obviously I'm going to weld it up but I'll do a trial fit now well it fitted uh, but I'm going to do another modification to it because if we have a look underneath we've got see I'm going to minute just put that there in a minute these sections are higher than this main beam which goes down there so what I'm going to do I, I need the clearance to the floor so I'm going to make the tank go up to these sections because they're all level uh, these four here and I'm going to box it around this section here so I thought I'd get a three inch C channel so it'll be three inch wide be an inch deep and eighth of an inch thick and I'm going to weld that in the tank so I'll show you what I mean on the tank So basically I'll just chop this channel out like that and I'm welding a C channel so it goes down an inch and then I can get a bit more clearance to, to the floor then because every bit I need, you know what I mean, it worked out quite well then. And then in here I'll just do one section across there and do the sides there uh, and then sort all of the bits out like the mounts and weld the bottom up and just got to put like an inlet there for the the uh, fuel delivery so get a bit of pipe for that and then obviously we've got to sort all the sender unit out and the outlets and everything and the breathers so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I've got that loom there going down underneath the vehicle now just got it underneath here That's off there. I just clipped it. And then I've got, let me just get under. I've got these wires here. They're for the fuel pump. So I'm going to mount the fuel pump and the filter on this leg here. Then the tank will be all in this area here. And then these two wires here, they're for the sender, for the level. And then just crawl further over got this wire going right to the back you can see it underneath there that's for the uh, the trailer socket and then it just goes up under the floor there you see the bung there that goes inside the vehicle I'll just get out and show you where that goes untangle myself from all these wires So it just comes up under the floor there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the existing wiring. It actually goes over, then down, and then it goes over the top there. So I'm going to snip it down there, pull it back down and through here, and then run it round the back of that wheel arch there, and then wire them all up. Just give the rear tow hitch and the wheel carrier bit of a coat of black so I've got a couple of earths on the gearbox there one on that side and then one on that side as well and then uh, I've got the main live which goes from the starter motor and that goes along here I've just made some P-clips clipped it along the chassis there so she's going right to the back there And up there and goes through the floor there through a bung because I'm having the battery at the back and just comes through the floor there so that's where the battery is living in that corner there so yeah the live is going up through the floor now through that bung so that's all right and then I've put the tow hitch back on as well and then um, like I say I've got that tow hitch loom going down to the socket there now as well so that's all right, that's all wired up. 
That's all bolted up and I've put an earth on that one there, which goes up inside the vehicle. So I've got the positive and the earth going up inside the vehicle now. So that's all nice and secure. Get out of my pit. Put the bumpers on as well. I am going to paint them at a later date. And then uh, get some proper bolts for it as well. Some coach bolts. But yeah. It's all back together now, that back end. I've got the rear lights working as well. Let's just pop them on, put the hazards on. So they're all working. Um, got some number plates coming. Some um, engraved black and silver ones. And I've just got to sort out a reverse light and a fog light, so I'll sort that out. Um, just got all the wiring there at the minute because like I want to wire some other stuff to it and then I'll neaten it all up so that'll stay all hidden away once I've finished all the wiring so yeah that's getting there slowly so I've just chucked the front bumper on as well like I say I'm going to paint them at a later date but this one's been repaired welded up and filled so that's it front lights are on as well all working Happy days, mate. So that's the fan wired up. And I've got the heater switch sussed out as well. Uh, just got a couple of resistors wiring now. Worked out a little circuit diagram there. So I've got that sus. So just got to mount these on a little bit of an aluminium plate. Then I've got a wire to go through, snip them off, solder them onto the resistors on the alley plate. But I'm going to thread that through the bulkhead and do it underneath the passenger wing. So I've got them resistors mounted on a little bit of alley plate up there, up near the wing, and that's all wired up. Just got to chuck the switch in now in the dashboard. So I've just mounted the switch there, just above the ignition switch. So that'll do me. Jack Junkies crew just having a little bonty, aren't we all? Hey, up, oh, hey! <laughs> Some love chairs there. And the, the, dog. dog. the dog's here as well. Hey. Hey. Did it, did it. Right, time to get stuck into the alley fuel tank. Start chopping this channel out so we'll get on with that. <laughs> Done some chopping and drilled some holes. Um, I've got this bigger feed that goes down there, so I'm going to weld it inside to so 45 degrees. Then I've got one on the other side for my heater. It's a smaller one, so I'm going to weld that as well. That's at 45 degrees. Um, then I've got a couple of returns, and uh, I've got to chop that one down. And I'm going to weld all them on and weld the baffle inside. And then we've got this section fits in here now. So that'll go in there. And then um, get that welded up as well once I've done all the inside work. And then I've just got a Cut this like that on either side and then weld all that up and then put the fuel filler there and a breather and yeah getting somewhere near there now and then I've got my sender unit which I've got to put in here as well put all the pipes in uh, build the hole for the sender plant off that hole and I've not welded that in yet because I'm going to do a trial fit and then uh, patched up that 
filler at the bottom as well so that's patched up so I'm going to do a trial fit before I weld all that in because I might have to take a bit more out of that Getting a bit hot, let it cool down because it'll start warping otherwise. That's one run. Do it other side now. Side's done there. Not the neatest, but that'll do. Got to do around there now on both sides. So I've done both ends now. Done them and all the runs on that. Just come to teach Shane how to take properly. <laughs> you honest with you, never done it in my life. But there it goes. Mister Murray's first attempt at taking. <laughs> Go for it, mate. Here we go. Up you go. And there you go. And there you go. It's looking really good. <laughs> Definitely one of those things, it's a bit harder than it looks. <laughs> used to it. Looking good, that is. He's done a little run there, it's getting better, that Mr. Murray. Belting, mate. Drop some, uh, drop some comments in at the comment box to see what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so that's the tank finished. Got the filler up and the breather for the filler. Uh, I've welded that section in, he only had six mil, so that's why it's all chunky welding. Um, put that C section in. Drilled and tapped out from the sender unit, the pipes are in. I've got like these two middle ones to go to the bottom centre of the tank. Um, that's the engine fuel delivery, that's the heater fuel delivery. And I need two returns, one for my pump system and one from the engine. So that's all sorted. I've just got to weld some brackets on and I'm going to strap it underneath twice as well. And um, that's the sender unit which is going in there. So I'll get that in as well, but I'll get it put underneath the vehicle and then sort out all the four brackets and then take it off and weld them back on. So send the unit in for the test fit. Don't look that bad at the side there. I can go up just a tab there, just got to shave a little bit off there. Well, yeah, go up about a quarter of an inch there, so that's not bad. But it's all there, it all fits nice. All the plumbing and everything is all good, so that's good. Okay. That's the other side. Fits nice, that. Fits all around there good as well. And the plumbing just fits in nice as well. Just enough room. Get an elbow on that and the breather pipe as well. All nice and close. So I've welded some nuts on some plates and then cut a big hole in and then welded them on. So they'll be the four mounting points. Over there as well. Over there. back here as well so I'm doing them and then um, I've just cut some stainless steel out in some strips so I'll be uh, mounting them up here as well and then fixing it like the original tank up here so it shouldn't go anywhere when I've got all that fixed 
So I've just sigged up a couple of straps, a bit of thin stainless steel. I just put some uh, thicker stainless steel, just bent it at an angle there. So yeah, just get the original fixings on that. Let's go over here somewhere. So yeah, they just go through there, knock on like the original ones. So that's it now, drilled all the holes ready for mounting it, them four as well. So I'll get that chucked on now. The tank is in and it's staying in. Not bad that, not a bad floor clearance that. I'm happy with that, because I was a bit worried. So it was worth that extra bit of work just to get that clearance. It's all bolted up on each corner. And then uh, obviously we've got the straps underneath as well. Shove myself along. So there's the straps there. Not bad that. Just go under the other side as well. There she is. Look at that belting mate. All bolted up and strapped up and everything. Could have been made for it. So made myself a little tea piece. I was trying to solder it, but I ended up brazing it. So I used the TIG welder. First time I've done any brazing with it, so that's all right. Basically, it's just a T, and then that's just like a three mil. So like the return going to the tank restricts it for the pump, and then it goes into the filter. So I've got all that plumbed in now. I've got that little T, what was going on about there. Basically, just got the feed going into the pump, and then the pump into that T. That T's got a reducer in it. Uh, that goes back to the tank, that one. And the other one goes to the pump, and then, uh, sorry, to the filter, and then out of the filter straight to the engine. And then there's the return from the engine. So look, we've got two returns. One from the T, and one from the engine. So they're all in there, all good. So. I've put the battery on temporary in the back. Just clipped it on there, temporary. And you can hear the pump. So I'm gonna go for the first start up. Woo! So it started up anyway. Right, I'm going to go for another start, I just had no airflow meter on it, so I've just plugged that in now. So, try again. Oh yeah! She goes, mate! Too long, there's no water in it or anything. Absolutely buzzing, mate. Well, the first start up, eh? Well chuffed. Yep, so now we've just got to uh, obviously do the exhaust, there's no exhaust on it, do the prop shaft, do all the water, radiator, plumbing, and intercooler and all that lot so but I'm well chuffed that's running now that absolutely buzzing so I think that'll do it for this one so thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one